Breaking news, my dear, is happening right now as we speak. Our very own brother, Yahaya Bello, the governor of Kogi State, goes into hiding. Hiding from EFCC's arrest. We brought you up to speed that um, immunity days are over. He is pulling and is taking off the hearts of the governor of Kogi State and he needs to begin to take responsibility, arise and do the right thing. Right now, he has gone into hiding. He was supposed to go to Okene, but he has cancelled it because EFCC is on his trail and every single person is, wait, is watching and waiting to see how all of this will come to manifestation. Guys, we need to do something about that thing we call constitution. There are a lot of things that are against the people of the nation. How can a government, just how can a government, yes, a government come into play and they put system in place for only them, okay, for them to be exempted even when they commit atrocious crimes, steal money, even if they kill or anything, nothing must be done with done to them it is called the immunity clause according to the 1999 constitution and everybody is watching waiting and just trying to understand what exactly is going on here these are the people we have in leadership yes you heard me these are the people we have in leadership please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details exclusive Kogi ex-governor Yahaya Bello cancel Okeni trip, currently hiding to uh, hiding from arrest of EFCC. The governor saw the governor saw said Bello was still at the government house Lokoja, where he could enjoy the protection of his predecessor and godson, Kusman Ododo. Why others source claim? His whereabouts is unknown. As we speak at the moment, the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, is currently in hiding. And on Monday, canceled the trip to Okene Town in order not to expose himself to the operative of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, mm -hmm. EFC. Yahaya Bello is currently trying to hide himself from the EFCC. Sir Reporters has reported that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission has given an order for him to be brought in for questioning. The top government source said Bello was still at the government house, Lokoja, where he could enjoy some protection. Sir Reporters on Monday reported that Economic Financial Crime concluded plans to probe him after the immunity clause has expired. It has been learned that the commission would invite Yahaya Bello. Currently, no one knows his whereabouts. Sahar reporters reported how Bello's tenure ended as the youngest governor in Kogi State last Saturday. He was succeeded by a party man, Husman Ododo, whom some say he has put to extend his tenure to a third tenure. Speaking with Sahar reporters on Tuesday, a top source said EFCC currently is looking out for Bello. He told his itinerary shows he's going to a Kenya, but that has been cancelled. He's clearly attempting to evict arrest, and he may have to be left. He may he may have to be left alone at this point in time, thinking that would be the way forward. Yahaya Bello's tenor was characterized with a lot of abnormalities. His wife, his nephew, currently are being looked for by the EFCC for financial misappropriation, fraudulent activity, and money laundry. Money belong to this money belonging to the state has been moved and kept for personal purposes. Nigerians are wondering what the what the importance of this clause, immunity clause on government and those who serve in government offices is all about because it does not benefit Nigerians one bit. So this is what is happening right now, my people. This is what is going on. And everybody currently can see that um, indeed we need to we need to begin to uh, 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 ensure that we advance, move forward and make real tenable progress. We are tired of the same thing over and over again. OK, so Yahaya Bello is uh, is now is now running is now is, it can it cannot really run for for long 
you see, he can't really run, run for long because whether he likes it or not, he will definitely be brought in for questioning. And my point is, we cannot say we have an immunity clause on people who are eating the money that belongs to the state. Why teachers who are going to school every single day, teaching children, making sure that education is going on, decent people working to earn their living, salaries will not be paid. Yet, some persons, some people, you know, have it, you know, they have a free ride. So Yaya Bello now is having a free ride, is moving, is doing what he can, yet people are sincerely suffering. So how do we reconcile all of this? How do we reconcile all of this? In a nation where we lie to ourselves that, um, you, know, there's, you know, there's immunity on them, you cannot touch them. Why can't you touch them? Why can't they be touched? Why? What's the reason? What's the reason exactly? So that's where the problem is at the moment. Why can't they be touched? What is it exactly that, you know, they've done, you know, so they, they have to be protected for and against, you know, so that they can move forward. What did they do? So these are the things that are happening. These are some of the things that are going on. And if we want to be truthful and honest to ourselves, it is wise now that every single person begin to align with the position of truth and ensure that the truth is manifested and is done so that we can move forward. Yahaya Bello and the rest of them knows that, you know, they know, they, even the whole government, we need to reevaluate. We need to go back to the drawing board. We need to go back to the drawing board. Okay? We need to go back to the drawing board. What exactly happened? And why did all of this happen? That up until now, as we speak, you know, we cannot really understand what really has happened. That, you know, some people have immunity, yet they are the ones causing the most problem in the country. How did we get here? How did we get here in the first place? Just how? So this is what is happening. This is what is going on and why every single individual will have to begin to look, you know, we need to begin to look inwardly and ensure that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, things are done properly to move this nation forward so that we can get, you know, we can get the truth and this nation can begin to, you know, can begin to experience the dawn of a new day. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's about time we begin to we begin to see to it that change comes. And when this change comes, every one of us will enjoy it. Now Yahya Bello is, is hiding. Is, why is he hiding? His wife is wanted. Ododo has made his uh, nephew uh, chief of staff. Why Yahya Bello was there? Ododo was, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, nephew could take money from the state treasury. And nobody, no, no questions asked. Ah, Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria, my country. This is the country that we are in. Oh. This is the country we are in. Where truth must become the, the, you know, the essence of the day so that we can move forward. So that we can move forward and make real progress. You know, the days upon us is, is clear. It's clear that if we want, the, if we want, you know, we want this nation, we want things to change, then everyone will have to arise. Everyone will have to begin to do what is needed, you know, to make sure that we do not, uh, we do not leave this, we do not leave people in a very, very devastating position. Imagine there was a time Kogi workers were complaining, we've not been paid. Teachers, workers, civil servants, they said the governor, for instance, let's say they'll be paid 28. The governor will allow the money to stay till on the 5th so that he can get some dividends on the money from the bank. You know, having kept the money for a bit longer and the people's money, he will use it for his own purpose. He will not even share profit with them. This is what is happening. This is what is going on. And we all just watch. And guess what? He has immunity. Nothing can be done. So how do you question accountability, reality and truth being manifested when everybody is as silent as a mouse and nobody is speaking? to ensure that at the end of the day, the truth is prevailing, okay? So we can't continue like that. We can't continue like that. Every one of us should know that enough is enough, okay? Every one of us should understand it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice and we must speak out 
to end every abnormality, to bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. It is important that we look at what is, what, what is, what is for the nation. It's for the nation, not for one person. Not because you are a governor or you occupy one office. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.